Oh, what's up guys and welcome to this video tutorial. Um, we are going over the 2018 November AP Maths exam and we're going over question 2. Okay, so I've done question 1 and 3. I don't know why I did that in that order, but I just thought I'd do the easiest questions first. Um, not to say that these questions are any harder, but yeah, we're going over question 2. So I've made a copy of it because I've run out of space, but here we go. Okay. So it says, uh, determine in standard form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d is equal to zero, with a, b, c, and d being real. A cubic ex equation which has roots minus 3 and 3 plus 2 r. Okay, so basically, let's start off with question 2. Okay, so question 2.1. Okay, so basically what we first need to understand are what our roots are. So we know our roots are equal to x is equal to minus 3, x is equal to uh, 3 plus 2i, and we know that when we have um, imaginary roots, it always has to have its conjugate pair. So that means that x is equal to 3 minus 2i as well. So now that we have uh, three values of the roots, we can simply go about multiplying this out and getting there. So we have x plus 3. Okay, so all I'm doing is moving um, what's on the right-hand side to the left-hand side of the equation and multiplying everything out. So it's going to be equal to x uh, minus 3 minus 2i. Okay, so x minus 3 plus 2i is equal to 0. Okay, um, then I'm going to group some stuff. So we're going to have x plus 3, then we have x minus 3, and I'm grouping that and saying minus 2i, and then I'm going to have x minus 3 plus 2i. Okay, this just helps when I'm multiplying um, these two brackets out that I've done in blue. Okay, so what we have is x plus 3 once again. And now when I multiply this out, it's simply going to be, um, this is in the form a plus bi, a minus bi. Okay, so when we multiply that out, it's equal to a squared, all right, plus, sorry, minus b squared. Okay, so now I can use that simple equation. So my a in this case is equal to x minus 3, and my b in this case is equal to uh, 2i. Okay, so what I can have then is I have x minus 3 squared, and I have minus 4i squared is equal to 0. So then what I have is x plus 3, and I'm going to now multiply this out. So I have x squared minus, uh, what's that, 6x plus 9 minus 4. Okay, and i squared is um, minus 1, right? i squared is equal to minus 1. So it's going to be minus 4 times minus 1, which is equal to plus 4. And I'm just going to write that out as equaling 13 is equal to 0. Okay, now I'm going to multiply all of this stuff out. So what we're going to have is we have x cubed minus 6x squared plus 13x plus 3x squared. Um, yeah, minus 18x plus 39 is equal to 0. So now I can group some stuff. So I have x cubed. Um, minus 3x squared, okay, uh, minus, so that's gone, these two are gone, so minus 5x plus 39 is equal to 0, and that is my final solution. Now I have it in my standard form, where a equals 1, b equals minus 3, c equals minus 5, and d is equal to 39. Okay, you don't really have to write that out, but I just wanted to show you what they equal. Okay, so let's take that out because that is the final solution. Okay, and we get eight marks for that. Question 2.2 .2 is a theory question. 
So explain why every cubic equation with real coefficients must have at least one real root. Okay, so remember a cubic, uh, okay, I'm just going to give you the answer um, because my handwriting is atrocious. So basically remember that every cubic equation, so anything with x to the cubed, must have um, three roots. Okay, so complex roots um, of a polynomial with real coefficients occur in conjugate pairs. So my imaginary solutions occur in pairs. Okay, so that means I have two solutions from my imaginary part, right? So if I had another imaginary part, if I had another imaginary part, I would have another two solutions, which means I have four solutions in total for something that only has three roots. So that can't be true. So my last solution must therefore be a real root because real roots occur in singular, right? So my real root would have one solution giving a total of three solutions, which meets my three roots. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Basically, a cubic equation must have three roots. The complex uh, roots occur in pairs. Um, so there must be at least one real root. Okay, and we get ourselves four marks for that. Okay, Tabo is practicing his division of complex numbers of the form a plus bi, where a and b are real or elements of the real. Okay, he notices that basically all of these are equal to uh, minus i. Okay, so what they ask us, the actual question is just that last line, which is a proof, so question 2.3, is basically we, we want to prove, prove um, that a plus bi divided by minus b uh, plus ai is equal to minus one, uh, minus i. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so basically this is just a lot of um, algebra, really nothing much to it. So we can work with my left hand side, which is equal to a plus bi over minus b plus ai. Okay, I'm going to multiply this by the conjugate. So a, uh, the conjugate of the bottom. Okay, so I'm left with um, minus b minus ai minus b minus ai okay so all i'm doing there is multiplying by one so then i have a plus bi times minus b minus ai okay i'm just rewriting it because um okay and in this situation we have exactly what we did here um, we can use the same rule um, for the bottom right so what we're left with at the bottom is going to be uh, the real part squared, so b squared, minus the imaginary part squared, so a squared, i squared, okay? So at the top, that's going to be minus a b, minus a squared i, minus b squared i, minus um, a b i squared, over b squared, i squared is minus 1 again, so it's going to be plus a squared. So this is equal to minus ab. I'm going to deal with this uh, last term. Uh, minus a i squared, i squared equals minus 1, so that's going to be plus ab minus, I'm going to group this, a squared plus b squared times i. All over, I'm going to change this a squared plus b squared. Okay, these two terms cancel, so what we're left with is minus a squared plus b squared times i all over a squared plus b squared. These two cancel, um, and we're left with is equal to minus i, which is equal to my left hand side is equal to my right hand side. Okay, so not too difficult. Um, I think it's a bit generous to give eight marks for that, but um, I guess everyone takes their marks where they can. So yeah, not too difficult, just a lot of algebra. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this video useful and helpful. 
we've done question three um, so we're going to move on to question four in the next video so thanks for watching guys um, hope you helped.